Hello guys, welcome back to another basic Java programming tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about what is the use of super keyword in Java inheritance. So here I'm going to create a class called A. Also add another class called B. Now I make class B as the child of class A. So B extends A. So now here A is the super class and B is the child class. Now inside the parent class here I add a default constructor. Also I add a default constructor in the child class also. Here I print some statement. Hello from parent default constructor same statement in the child also hello from child default constructor ok so now we have two class class A and class B class B is the child of class A and class A and class B contain two default constructor now here in the main class here I am going to create an object of class B. So I just create an object of class B here. So new new B. So this will invoke the constructor of class B. So here there is no arguments. So of course it will invoke the default constructor of the class B. So here it will print out this statement. Hello from child to default constructor. But there is a problem. Class B is the child of class A. So in this case, when you execute, when you create an object of the child class, the Android, sorry, the Java runtime first invoke the parent default constructor. And after that, it will call the child default constructor. We can check it out. Now I run the program. Okay, here is the output. Hello from parent default constructor. First, the intro, first the Java runtime will invoke the parent default constructor. Then it will invoke the child default constructor. Okay, so that is okay. So if there is default constructors are present in parent class and child class, the Java runtime first invoke the parent default, then invoke the child default constructor. So now here I'm going to add another constructor with some arguments. Here I add an argument message. So now the parent contain two constructor, a default and parameterized constructor. And here I also I print some message. Hello from parent parameterized constructor. Okay. Also, there is a message is available. Print the message here. Message from parent. Parent constructor. And the message is available in this variable message. Okay same thing here i'm going to define i'm going to create a parameterized constructor in child also this is b hello from child parameterized constructor message from child constructor and print the message so if i pass some argument into this constructor hello all what will happens so in the case of a default constructor in the case of a default object first the java runtime invoke the parent default constructor then invoke the child default constructor but here there are some arguments are present in this case first the java runtime invoke the default constructor of parent then invoke the parameterized constructor of the child we can check it out run the program run this file here is the output first it, it will invoke the parent default constructor 
then it in it will invoke the child parameterized constructor so here the parent parameterized constructor is not called so in this case we have to use the super keyword if you want to invoke a constructor of the parent you have to use a super keyword so inside the child parameterized constructor I use the super keyword so this will invoke the parent constructor so here there is no arguments are available for the super keyword so this will invoke the parent default constructor not the parameterized constructor but uh, if you run the program we got the same output again because it will call the default constructor of the parent then it will call the parameterized constructor of the child so uh, if if you want to call the default constructor of the parent there is no need of super keyword the android the java runtime will automatically invoke the parent default constructor but if you want to invoke a constructor with arguments you have to pass the argument in this case first the java runtime will invoke the parent parameterized constructor then it will invoke the child parameterized constructor we can check it out run the run the program again now here is the output hello from parent parameterized constructor and the message from parent then it will call the parameterized constructor on child and the message from child I hope you understand what is the actual use of the super keyword in a Java program. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. And one more thing, if you use a super keyword inside a constructor, that must be the first statement in that constructor. So here I use a super keyword in this constructor. Uh, suppose if I use the super keyword as the last statement in this constructor of course this will cause an error because if you use a super keyword inside a constructor that must be the first statement in that constructor so this is not possible you have to put the super keyword as the first statement inside the constructor that is very important